who has set my head a whirl, and she lives up in the Yukon far away. Good evening and welcome we to a special edition of the Commander night. Kurt Show. The campfire Tonight we pay special tribute to Texas Jim Lewis, otherwise known as Sheriff Tex. Ooga, 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 which means that I'll and now here's your host, Commander you Kurt. My daddy, she said, I love you true. Then I took her hand in mine and placed her on my knee. Good evening and welcome to the Commander Kurt Show. I'm your host, Commander Kurt, and we're doing a two-part special, a tribute to uh, Texas Jim Lewis, better known as Sheriff Tex. And with me this evening are two of his daughters, Alicia and Ginger. Welcome to the Commander Kurt Show. Howdy. Hello. Alicia, would you please tell us about your father? Sure. Our papa was born back in 1909, and the song you heard at the beginning of the show is a song he wrote called Squaws Along the Yukon back in 1948. It's also known as Alaska State Song. Amongst many other famous songs that he wrote, he also starred in motion pictures filmed back in the 1930s and 40s. And in the 1950s and 60s, he starred in his own children's television show program right here in the Pacific Northwest called Sheriff Tech Safety Corners. And Safety Corners was the very first children's show in the United States. So, you guys want to watch it? Yeah, let's yeah. take a look at it. All right. <laughs> Live on board the stage, deputies, we're heading for safety corners. Sheriff Tex and all his friends are waiting for you, so let's all go to the safety corners general store and see what the sheriff is up to now. Yeah, I'd just be tickled to death to have a little game with you, Grandpa. Yeah, but you come on out to the store after the meeting. Say, I see the young ones coming in the store right now. I'm going to... I said that the evidence is coming in the store, so you just shag on down here after the meeting. Okay, goodbye. Well, hi, deputies. That was Grandpa Pettypoo I was talking to there. He wants to play a little checker game with him, so I told him to come on down to the store after the meeting, and we just have a lot of fun. Oh, I see old Cuckoo right on the ball here today with a riddle. And here's the riddle. What hen lays the longest? You know the answer? Well, here it is. A dead one. <laughs> oh, good gracious life, Cuckoo, that's all right. Whoops, there goes that phone again. Good gracious life, we'll never get this meeting underway if this phone keeps ringing all day. Hello, safety corner store, the high sheriff doing the talking, who's it? Who? Oh, the marshal up at Capital City, huh? Well, I haven't heard from you from a long, long, long time, marshal. What's on your mind? Oh, be on the lookout for a notorious character. Yeah, well, what does he look like? He got a little black flat top hat. Little bitty fella, huh? And he's wearing glasses and a mask. Oh, wait a minute here. I better put some of this down here, Marshal. Yeah, go right ahead. Give me the give me the description of him there now. Yeah, I got that. Little fella and all that stuff. He's armed to the teeth, huh? Yeah, wearing glasses, you said that. And he's dangerous. Oh, yeah, dangerous. Well, you know, that description just fits Grandpa Pitypoo to a T.Y. Hey, yeah, Grandpa Pitypoo here in town, yeah, yeah. But that couldn't be him, though, Grandpa Pitypoo. He's not dangerous. He wouldn't shoot nobody. Yeah, okay, well, I got it all down here, I think, uh, Marshal. If I see anything of him, well, uh, I'll call you up and let you know. Yeah, okay. Well, goodbye. That was the marshal up there at the Capital City calling me. Said there's a notorious uh, character on the loose. Headed for safety corners. Didn't want to be on the lookout for it. Kind of sounds like Grandpa Pitypoo, but I know that couldn't be him. Well, anyway, let's check and see what's in our magic projector. Now, 
Well, I think it's about happy birthday time. What did I do with my guitar? Oh, I think it's in the post office around here. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Now, you young'uns, let's all get together here and sing a little happy birthday. For all Take you up. young'uns to celebrate. Stick them up. Oh, God, Grandpa, what are you doing? Playing games or something? You're not supposed to be down here till the meeting's well, over. When I say get them up, I mean get them up. Uh, Grandpa, Petty Poo, get it. What do you mean, get them up? Will you quit that playing? Halloween's over. What oh, are you talking, get... Grandpa? I'm a hold-up man. I'm in here to hold you up. All I want to do is hold you up and then get out of here. Now, get them up. Grandpa, uh, okay, hold-up man. Come around here and sit down and let's sing happy birthday. Right on this side over here. You know the young and celebrate their birthday once in a while, and we have to sing a little song for them. Sit right down here and help me out with it. Gracious alive. Meeting's going on. You wasn't supposed to be here for a long time yet. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You help. Grandpa, you point that thing the other way. That thing's liable to go off. Gracious alive. Somebody might get hurt. Now help me sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. Grandpa, put that thing away, will you? Now, you sing it good and loud. Kind of strain it through that thing you got on her. There we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear safety devotees. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish now and blow out the candles on your cake, and we just hope you're having a big time right now celebrating your birthday. Don't with Grandpa. Now look, I ain't Grandpa. Uh, I'm a hold up now, uh, and I want—I just want to hold you up. All right, hold up, man. I know all that. Sit down. Let's sing another song. You didn't do much help that time. Try it again. Now put that thing away. Just set it right back there. Slide. That thing will go off in a minute. Now let's sing this song about the. Uh, oh, who broke the lock on the hen house door? Are you youngins. Help Grandpa and me sing it too, will you? You know this part goes in there where I say, uh, who broke the lock? And then you say, I don't know. Okay, Grandpa, let's sing it. Well, I was down at the barn about half past eight, and there was a little red hen waiting for a date. Along come a date and the husband too. She said, what in the world am I going to do? Now, who broke that lock? I don't know who broke the lock on the hen house door. I'll find out before I go. Who broke the lock on the hen house door? Grandpa, you're not helping me a bit now. This second verse. I say, who broke the lock? You say, I don't know. Now, I was down behind a hen house on my knees when I thought I heard a chicken sneeze. It was only an old rooster saying his prayers, giving his love to the hens upstairs. Now, who broke that lock? I don't know. Well, who broke the lock on the hen house door? I'll find out before I go. Who broke the lock on the hen house door? Grandpa, I want you to help me sing the song. I'm going to sing one more verse now, and you say, I don't know, when I say, who broke that lock? Now, get in here with me now. This is a good verse. This is the one that Buttercup likes. Grandma Pity Poo likes this verse, too. You know that. You like to hear you sing once in a while. Now, I married my wife about five years ago. We got a little boy that's just about four. He gets up to the table and he slaps his maw. He rubs glasses in my hair and says, ain't you my paw? He runs string beans up my nose. Sticks taters in my ears. He rubs mustard in my eyes. Now, who broke that lock? Twerk me! Oh, Grandpa, not twerk me. For goodness sake, I don't know. That's all you gotta say. It's I don't know. Now, do it again. Now, who broke the lock? Well, I don't know. Now, who broke the lock on the hen house door? I put on a piece of pie. Turkey do that I do, done squeak, squeak. That's it, Grandpa. Well, uh, who broke the lock on the hen house door? That's fine, Grandpa. Now, look here, whoever you are. I can't stay around here all day singing. I gotta hold up this place and get the loot and get out of here. Loot? Where in the tarnation did you get a word like that? Loot. Listen to them. <laughs> loot. Oh, Grandpa. I don't know what kind of game you play, but I guess I might as well go along with Look, you. Look, I ain't Grandpa. I'm a hold up Okay, man. hold up, man. What do you want me to do? Well, I'm gonna find the loot myself, and I want you to get over here in the jail. Now, move. Okay, okay, Grandpa. Coming in here with a black handkerchief over your face. Trying to disguise your voice. 
And everything. Go ahead and have yourself some fun. Just go right. You just wait till I tell Grandma Pity Poo on you. Oh, oh, shut up about Grandma Pity Poo. Now you stand there and keep quiet, because I'm going to get the loot. Okay, Grandpa. Uh, I mean, uh, hold up, man. Twenty cents? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Grandpa, I knew this would get you, because you always did like me to play the hoop nanny for you. Now, sit down there, uh, Grandpa. Hold up, man. Sit down there, and I'll play you a little tune. Sit right down there. Just take it easy there, Grandpa. Now, let's see. What did I do with those thimbles? Can't play with it. Oh, anyway, Grandpa, I'm going to run the magic projector over there again for the young'uns. And then I look for my thimbles. Yeah, just crank her up and see what comes out while I get my thimbles on. Don't you point that thing at me or I'll blast you! <laughs> there now, Grandpa. That was kind of extra special for you. I mean, hold up, man. And now I'm going to play your favorite tune, the Hoot Nanny Annie and the Razzmatazz and How You Been, Sonny Boy. <laughs> Whee! Goes like this. Some kind of a nut. I'm getting out of here. Oh my goodness. Oh, that Grandpa Pity Poo. Well, I never saw that Grandpa get so excited when I played the hoot nanny for him before. I don't know what's the matter with him. Why, you'd think he was a real hold up man the way he acted. Oops, that goes my phone. All right, I'm coming. Hello, Safety Corner Store. Hi, Sheriff Judy talking. Who's it? Grandpa Pity? No, 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 Grandpa. Grandma hasn't been in the store, but you have. As a matter of fact, I can still see you walking down the road out there, shaking your little old head. Well, if that, if that wasn't you and you calling me, then that must have been that real hold-up fella that the sheriff was telling me about. Yeah, I better go get him, Grandpa. Yeah, well, well goodbye, goodbye. I got to go get that honorary vomit. Oh, and you young'uns, be sure to come back to the store again real, real soon, won't you? In the meantime, you all know what the sheriff wants you to remember, don't you? That's right. Safety. Hey, you honorary varmint. Stop out, shoot! Hold it down there! Hold on there! <laughs> Eyeball board the stage, deputies. We're heading for safety corners. Sheriff Tex and all his friends are waiting for you. So let's all go to the safety corners general store and see what the sheriff 
he's up to now. Well, hello there, deputies. Say, you young'un just come right on in the store here and find yourself a good place to sit down and make yourself comfortable. I'll be through here in just a minute. You gotta get this sign put up here. Keep your spurs off the counter. That's for that uh, Cecil Hathaway's benefit. Cecil, you know, is a cowboy out there at the Hathaway Ranch. Every time he comes in the store, he's always putting his spurs up on the counter. So I think that will get the job done right there. Yes, sir. Well, you youngins, excuse me just a minute. I'll put this glue away, and we'll get the meeting started, huh? Come to think of it, I'd better put this in a good, safe place around here where that cannonball won't find it. Oh, can't put it in there. Uh, no, that's too small there, too. I think I got just the place right over here. You know, that cannonball's been kind of honor here lately. No, that won't fit there. Oh, here's the place, right there. Yes, hey, sir, that ought to take care of it. Well, I guess I better get back here and take care of these grocery orders, see if I've got them all sent out to the right places. Let's see here now. We've got uh, Grandma Pity Poo. She wants some uh, uh, cannonball. For goodness sake, will you leave that man alone? How in the world do you expect me to get this place work done and get these grocery orders sent to the right places? You cannonball, leave that hoot nanny alone. I told you to leave that hoot nanny. Better scram. That young it just looked like a cannonball sort of let the cat out of the bag here, so I reckon I just might as well to get the hoot nanny around there and play it for you. You need to go scooting under that counter there. Just get on back to Beaver Creek. Now you uh, just see right now that you're in for some mischief today. I said get on, get away from out there. Yeah, you'd better ski daddle. You honorary rascal, I won't tell you that cannonball. I can just tell the way he started out, he aims to give me a bad time today. But I guess he's going back to Beaver Creek by now. <laughs> oh, boy, we're going to have fun today. Good gracious. Let's see. Let me get a little tune here now. Have to tune up first, see? Oh, that thing, the one that cannonball fooling back there. Yeah, that's fixed now. Okay, turn. Sure. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I want you to know I had a lot of fun playing that tune for you. Woo -wee. Well, we get old hooting out here right over there. Yes, yeah, sure. I guess I better get back here and get out of some real serious work here for a change. Yes, you lie. Let's see now where we left off here. Getting these grocery orders out in the right places. Grandma Pity Poo, she wanted some turnips. We didn't have any here at the store, so I had to borrow some from Pastor the good feller. So that takes care of that order. And let's see here. Now, Buttercup, she wanted some lettuce. 
And we run out of lettuce, too, so I had to borrow some lettuce from uh, Grandma Pity Poo for Buttercup. And let's see Miss Zabernathy's order here now. There, where is her order here? Oh, excuse me, youngin', there goes my phone. Sounds like my ring. Hello, Safety Corner Store, the high sheriff doing the talking. Who's it? Yeah, hello, Tilly. That's Tilly Thistle. She's a telephone operator here in town. Want to phone in some news to the Daily Bugle? Well, you know nothing ever happens around here. Besides, if it did, she'd be the first one to know it. Yeah, well, just go ahead and call him up, uh, Tilly. Uh -huh. well, goodbye. 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 Seem to be kind of stuck or something. Goodbye. Oh, for goodness. <laughs> Woo! Good gracious alive. No wonder. Wow, we. Oh, that, ca that cannonball just put glue all over everything around there. The whole fold apart and the whole. Good gracious alive. <clears throat> That honorary rascal, I knew he'd get into something around here before it was over with. Say, while well, I'm a healing up here just a little bit, young'uns. Let's uh, see what's in our magic projector here today, huh? Ooh, here we go. Look right in there now. Well, there you are now, young'uns, and I sure hope you enjoyed that, too. Oh, my goodness alive. I guess I better get this phone fixed back here because somebody just might take a notion to call us up here again. That honorary cannonball putting that glue around, that reminds me. I think I'd better move this because that wasn't such a good place to put it in in the first place, was it? I just put it over here in the jail because that, that cannonball never comes in this jail here. Uh, I just might as well have a, a little song here too, young'uns. As long as we got the guitar, and especially you young ones that's celebrating your birthday today, too, huh? How about it? Now, you be sure and remember, just kind of join right in with the sheriff, and let's do happy birthday. Matter of fact, I'm going to sing a little different kind of a birthday song today. Let's do the one about uh, the happy birthday polka, okay? Goes like this. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. This is your day to have a lot of fun. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. It's your party, but we have all the fun. Now make a wish and blow out the candles on your cake. Did you do it? All right, and we just hope that you have lots and lots of birthdays. Say, I'll tell you what, let's do another little song, that about uh, Cindy. Remember that tune called Cindy? Join right in with the sheriff and help me out. Sing good and loud. Goes like this. I wouldn't marry Cindy, tell you the reason why. She's got so many young'uns, they'd make the biscuits fly. Get along home, home, Cindy, get along home. Get along home, home, Cindy, I'm gonna leave you now. I went up on the mountain to give my horn a blow. For I heard my Cindy say, yonder comes my foe. Get along home, home, Cindy, get along home. Get along home, home, Cindy, I'm gonna leave you now. Well, Cindy went a fishing, she took a rod and reel. She caught so many fishes, she tore her stocking heel. Get along home, home, Cindy, get along home. Get along home, home, Cindy. I'm a gonna leave you now. <laughs> yes, sir, I sure do like that Cindy song, don't you? You know, I think it'd be a real good idea for me to put the guitar right back here in the jail so that cannonball can... Oh, no, not again. Look, younger, that cannonball has got glue all over the bars on this jail here. I can get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Youngins, you know, I always did want a, a beaver hat, and if I could ever catch that cannonball, I'm going to make you one, too. Grace says, all right, cuckoo, wait till I get loose in this jail here. Cannonball. Oh, fiddle sticks. Oh, I can't do that. I'm a coming. 
Oh, Cuckoo, you just don't know what a lucky boy you are. That cannonball ball must think an awful lot of you. If didn't, he'd have your little old door all glued shut there where you couldn't get out of there either. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, here's a riddle. Riddle, what roams all over town but never moves? You know the answer to this one? Well, here it is. It's a road. <laughs> yeah, it's that. Oh, fiddlestick. Get rid of that riddle. There, I get. Oh, shucks. Everything in, a... Everything in the place is all glued up. That cannonball, you know, one of these. You've heard tell of the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Well, I'll tell you something, young uns. If I get a hold of that cannonball, I'm going to. I'm going to cut his tail off. That's what I'm going to do. Well, now I'm gonna cut his tail off, plow up back of his neck. <laughs> I guess we might as well to get our projector started here while I try to get unglued. Well, get, look right in there, youngins. Here it is. <laughs> Say, I sure hope you youngins had a good time at our little meeting today. I know I could have had a whole lot better time if that cannonball hadn't have fouled up things around here, getting glue all everything. Look here. All these grocery orders, I just don't know which one is, oh, I don't know. I just wish you youngins could stick around a little while longer and sort of help the sheriff come unglued. <laughs> well, anyway, next time you drop by Safety Corner, be sure and drop in the old store for another little visit, huh? And in the meantime, you all know what the sheriff wants you to remember, don't you? That's right. Safety. system cope with the day-to-day -day, uh, 
trials and problems in life, make one of these every day. It's good enough for a machine guard with it. Bye.